This video will demonstrate the protocol for socket grafting without flap reflection and grafting with bond appetite. Once proper debridement of the host site is complete, the bond appetite syringe is activated. The syringe contains a saline chamber, the graft powder, shaft, two pistons, indicator line, and a cap. The shaft is placed in the palm of the hand, the other finger at the top of the cap, and the shaft is advanced forward until the first piston reaches the blue line. Next, with a twisting and pulling motion, the cap is removed and the shaft is placed between the pointer and middle fingers and the syringe is held as can be seen here. Approach and eject the cement into the socket. The cement is deployed into the site until it stops and then the position is changed to use the thumb in order to expel the rest of the cement into the site. Immediately, a sterile unfolded dry gauze is placed over the cement and pressed firmly with the finger from the crestal direction for about three seconds. It's extremely important that the bond appetite cement will be well compacted. Thus, after pressing with a finger, use the periosteal elevator in order to continue with the compaction of the graft for an additional few seconds, again from the crestal direction. Once the gauze is removed, the exposed graft should be protected by a simple collagen sponge or a collagen plug. Pass a suture through the sponge outside of the oral cavity and introduce the needle from one side to the other. Then, place it on the socket and secure it to the soft tissue with the first suture. As you can see here, suturing is done buccally and then lingually. Make the first suture and then cross suturing above the sponge. It is very important that the sponge or the plug will be sutured and secured in place until soft tissue proliferation will take place. Otherwise, the material will wash out. Do not use fast, dissolvable sutures such as plain or chromic gut. And of course, do not use any removable appliance over the graft.